Check out this great golf course. Every hole has its own personality. That's nice. But what's wrong is that this luxury is subsidized by taxpayers. That's because the course is owned by Yale University, which has ironclad tax exemptions. Yale's elegant dining halls pay no property tax. Hello, Yorkside, can I help you? Restaurants in town try to compete, but it's hard because... We basically pay one third of our rent in taxes. <laughs> it's insane. Their tax exempt competition gets to spend that money on other things like a pizza oven. The dining hall where you'll find great food and great friends. This college has a pizza oven. That's why we chose Yale. Yale is basically a money making machine. Politicians tried to tax Yale, but they cannot. It's written into the constitution of the state of Connecticut. And they just don't have to pay the way everybody else have to pay. It's a reason the town has a big budget shortfall, which they're trying to close by ticketing more cars. That's just what we have to do. That infuriates people who drive. They're giving tickets to everyone out there. Everyone must pay more because colleges get tax breaks, government grants, and government loans. Their entire business model is actually dependent on the taxpayer. Education researcher Inez Stepman suggests government defund universities. I pushed back. You make it like it's all government money, but people pay their own way. Without that lifeblood of those federal student loans, very few universities in the United States would be able to operate. They really are dependent on that federal interference. They're especially dependent now because college costs so much. When I went, my tuition was less than $2,000. Now it's more than $50,000. Once government increased subsidies for college, colleges raised tuition prices at four times the rate of inflation. They spend extra money not just on golf courses and fancy food. They're building lazy rivers. They're building rock climbing walls, brand new stadiums. And even special rooms for delicate students. The University of Utah has installed a cry closet. Yes, you can now cry in the privacy of your own tiny closet. Why not spend on everything? Colleges know they can get more money from you. The largest provider of student financial aid in the country. There is no check um, on, on the cost of a college degree. If students had to walk into Wells Fargo for those loans, Wells Fargo would be looking at whether or not uh, those loans would be paid back. The federal government doesn't ask any of those questions. So money's thrown at students who don't benefit from college. Almost half the students who get loans don't graduate in six years. And instead, what you have is fifty or sixty or eighty thousand dollars in debt um, without the degree to show for it. That's the situation of almost half of students. Many won't ever pay off their loans. When you get these, what do you do with them? <laughs> I put them in a pile and I'm waiting to shred them. Today, American students carry about one and a half trillion dollars in federal student loan debt. So taxpayers lose, students lose. I owe $108,137. The winners are rich colleges. Yale's endowment is $31 billion. Harvard's is even more. Of course, colleges say they deserve every tax break because they're making wiser citizens. They're not making wiser citizens. They're making citizens who hate their country. Most colleges educate mostly rather than indoctrinate. I wish that were true. I was part of the college Republicans, so we were registering voters. Um, and I actually had a professor walk up and spit on me. We had another professor call us the Nazi youth. And, and these are professors, right? You need to get out. Here, a professor tries to find muscle to ban a reporter. Get this reporter out of here. I need some muscle over here. All of this funded by the majority of Americans who do not have a four-year degree. It's offensive that we take dollars out of mechanics' pockets and put them into the pockets of, of largely middle-class and upper-middle-class students. But that's what America does. And sadly, our next president wants even more of it. I can send every single qualified person to a four-year college in their state for $150 billion. A lot of money. And even he's confused about that. After our interview, Mr. Biden's staff told us he misspoke and that the cost of free public college could be twice as much as he said. Any questions? How do I apply? I hope you learned something from these videos. If you do and you'd like to help us make more, we count on people like you to keep these coming.
please press that button.